We're very interested in the cardiovascular effects of SGLT2 inhibitors, and all three major SGLT2 inhibitors have shown a significant cardiovascular outcome benefit in patients with type 2 diabetes. In addition, the, all of the studies have noticed a modest but significant increase in hematocrit by about 2 to 5 percent. And a mediation analysis of the data from the AMPA-REG outcome study showed that 50 percent of the benefit in terms of CD, CV death was attributed to the rise in hemoglobin and hematocrit. So the question is, how did the hematocrit and hemoglobin rise, or what's the mechanism for that effect? So this was a substudy of the AMPA heart study, which was a study of uh, approximately 90 patients with type 2 diabetes and the risk factors that were similar to the AMPA-REG outcome study. They were treated with either 10 milligrams daily of ampagliflozin or placebo for six months. And during that trial, we took baseline samples for erythropoietin, red cell indices, and iron stores. At one month, we remeasured the erythropoietin levels, and then at six months, again, we had EPO levels, red cell morphology, and iron stores. We found that uh, at one month uh, of treatment, the EPO levels were significantly elevated in the empagliflozin group, um, and this elevation maintained over the six-month uh, trial, although at the end of the six months, the difference between the two groups was not significant. But over time, uh, with the ANCOVA analysis, and, uh, sorry, with the linear regression analysis, there was a significant elevation of EPO levels. Um, and at the same time, there was a, the expected change in hemoglobin levels. The hemoglobin levels rose, the hematocrit rose, um, the number of red cells increased, uh, but we found that there was a wider distribution of red cells, the RDW, increased, and the mean corpuscular hemoglobin concentration decreased. At the same time, we found a significant reduction of ferritin. So all of these things together indicate that there was erythropoiesis stimulated and uh, by an elevation of erythropoietin, and this led to the changes in red cell morphology. So there has been controversy about why the hematocrit or hemoglobin increased. Some people thought it was hemoconcentration because of the diuretic effects of SGLT2 inhibitors. But if that were the case, there clearly wouldn't be the changes in red cell morphology and wouldn't be the changes in iron stores or ferritin levels that we saw. So we think this is convincing evidence that um, at least a large portion of the effect of hematocrit is mediated by the rise in erythropoietin levels. And this, I think, sheds new insight into how these drugs uh, may work, and it also may give us insight into future developments or future areas of research related to SGLT2 inhibitors.